welcome back to another video, beautiful people. Today I am eating pickle melts. This is a sandwich, a local sandwich shop that I absolutely love. Um, I usually just get the same thing, which is a number 11, an Italian club. So I got that. Also tried, um, also this is my first time trying because I usually don't go out of the box. I just get the same thing. Um, a buffalo chicken sandwich. So I'm trying a little something different today. I got some Lay's on deck. I love eating chips with my sandwiches. I also got a Arizona little mango drink. Yay! I love these. I love the fruit punch and the mango. Those are my favorites. So I am going to get a prayer, a thumbnail, and we are going to dig in Heavenly Father, I thank you for this food. I ask you bless for nourishment and strength in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. Let me dig. Oh, let me I'll open this up, you guys. And see what's going on with this sandwich. Oh, that might so, uh oh, I don't know if I'm on light. the heck oh my gosh oh i was like where's the chicken you guys i thought it had no chicken in there for a second but there it is it's like what's going on with this one this is why i don't go out of the the box on what i get it's just like yeah this is why i don't go out of the box <laughs> but let me get a thumbnail Let me open up my other one. Now this is what I get, my Italian club. I love this sandwich. This is like my favorite. They got a couple other ones that I want to try, but like I said, I don't go out of the box. Very much at all. I can see those sandwiches. Get my chip opened up here. And my drink. All right. Let me taste. I'm going to go for the chicken first and see how this tastes. Not bad. It seemed like all the chicken was pushed to one side. There's some chips up there with it. That's not bad. got half because I didn't know how I'd like it but I always get the whole Italian sandwich so good I hadn't had I've been doing intermittent fasting most of this week so I've really only been eating one time a day and I've been drinking water through the day just water with lemon Um, this one has all kinds of ham and salami and uh, cheese and uh, vinegar and yeah, it has a lot of stuff in it. It's good. I like it. And their sandwiches are really good and toasted as well. Mm. 
really good and I am really hungry. All right, peeps, I wanted, it seems like a slow news week. I wanted to look on the shade room or something and see what was going on. This is good. I'm trying to see what's been posted today. Can't stop eating, you guys. I'm hungry. Megan the Stallion dropped a new song. It's like kind of uh, Tupac-y, that N-I-G-G-A song, except hers is B-I-T-C-H, which is, it's a bop. I slow down. It's good. Megan can wrap her butt off. I really like her. That came out. All this stuff about um, Lena Way, she, the creator of The Shy and Queen and Slim. She has a lot of stuff to do with a lot of shows. So, And so does her fiance. I think her fiance, I know her wife, that she cheated on works with Michael B. Jordan. So they've been in the industry. But, um, I guess she got caught cheating and they ain't been married for two months, but they've been together for three years, so. Yeah, this chicken one is just all right. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope, not better than what I usually get at all. A drink. way now I see this stuff all right because I haven't really looked at the internet through the day I'm usually busy working with kids and stuff at the school but uh I get on here and I see Portia Portia Williams from the Real Housewives of Atlanta her and her fiance Now, he has already cheated on her. I'm oh, sorry. He had already cheated on her uh, when she was pregnant. And I guess a couple weeks ago, he was in Atlanta. And you know people have their phones out at the diner with four women. And someone heard the girl over telling the other girl that I met him and all this and he's really nice and I'm just like they should know who he is and they do they knew he was married or, or, or not married or engaged to Portia but they still do I guess these people say they don't owe her no loyalty, so he's the one that does. He owes her loyalty. And 
And she said, about to tell it all. That's what Portia posted. Done. And clown. So. So. Ugh. Oh, good old Auntie Wendy finalized her divorce this week. They said she got to give up, you know, like a good penny to him, which I figured she didn't have a freaking prenup. When she got married, she didn't know she was going to be in the TV business, so... And making all that money, but I'm getting full, y'all. But um, she definitely um. Um, she definitely had to pay him, uh, she had to pay him to find a new place to live. She had to pay him like $250,000 and she has, well, she has a million dollar life insurance on herself. They said she can take it down though. Like, like the money will go to him. Also, um, I think the show paid them that $10 million and, of course, Wendy had to give him some more money. I mean, she gave him a lot. She came off of a pretty penny. I mean, she balling. She still, Wendy get paid good money for doing TV. So, she's probably fine with it. I'm thinking she's just happy to be divorced because of all that embarrassment he caused her. And whenever they sell their house in Livingston, New Jersey, she has to give him half of that too. So I'm guessing she's just happy to be, be done with it. I will be too. So that was so embarrassing for her. I mean, 10 years of living down the street with your mistress? I mean, this is too crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So bad. Bomb sandwich. I keep looking for some news, y'all. It's a really slow news week. I mean... Some people been running off down there in Georgia with uh, some Rolexes, $42,000 worth. Also, Wendy, I forgot about Wendy and Nene. And Nene was just bitten and Nene, I know, Nene was just bitten to Wendy and she went out there and told people that Nene's quitting the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm like, yeah. And Wendy said, private conversations, Nene said, private conversations should stay private. And I agree with her. She was just venting. Nene's always going off about something. Because she feel like, you know, she's the OG. And they should respect her. And whatever else. Really, Lil Wayne dropping an album called Funeral, I guess, on January 31st. <sighs> and Meek Mill is finally claiming his girlfriend and he's got pregnant. 
I just, I guess he ain't, I don't think he misclaiming her, but I guess he didn't just want it on social media and she came out what, a couple weeks ago doing a fashion show and she came out pregnant and I don't know if he felt some type of way about her doing that. Or what? But he was acting all weird on social media, posting little stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Slow news week to me. What the heck? The 600 breezy as always. I don't know. Mm -mm. Terry Crews throws Gabrielle Union under the bus and she is peed off. <laughs> About that America's Got talent stuff. All that drama concerning that show. And how they treat people. Women and colors. And um, and black people. Look, I'm saying color like the old folks. Um, yeah. Mm -mm. Slow to the week. Very slow. <laughs> Um, who is this with Nicki Minaj? She hadn't posted in a while. Uh, yeah, God, it's just like um, rich, rich. Mm -hmm. This guy and Nicki. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's so slow. Yeah, nothing is really going on in the media like that. I don't even know if I want to eat the rest of this. This is just it's. Not all that. Mm -mm. Nope, not like the Italian was. But yes. Today has been, oh my God, so cold. Oh my gosh. So cold, I had to go to work. Dig snow off my car. Oh my God, you guys, I am so sick of the snow. I'm so, I'm so glad this is my last winter. If it's in the Lord wills, will in Kansas. Oh my gosh, I am so ready to go. I am so ready to go. <laughs> I am ready to get out of here. I am so ready to move. Like I, this last four months can't go by fast enough. I am so ready to move. On spring break, I'm like doing a lot of spring cleaning, getting a lot of stuff together. I'm just getting ready. I like to start doing stuff since I don't have family here and no real, you know, dependable friends to really help me with anything. I just start doing a bunch of stuff early, really getting rid of a bunch of stuff because when I move, I'll probably just start over. I'll be throwing away some things, just trying to get rid of some stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'm ready to go, y'all. I'm so ready to go. <laughs> I can feel it. Oh, my gosh. You guys, I can't wait till I get my camera. I'm going to be vlogging. Oh, my gosh. I am trying to see, can I make me going to Houston happen on spring break? At least half of my spring break. Because my cousins are going. And I won't be in that time to ride with them oh, I'll be down. like I really want to go and I really want to go to eat some places and my number one first stop when I do get to go is the turkey leg head oh my gosh their food I just seen so many people review them and it just looks so good and I follow their um page I think it just came back up uh they got the page on Facebook oh my god that food looks so good y'all I will be vlogging uh, when I go um, down there. I want to go. If I don't get to go in March with my cousins, my family that's going, um, I want to go like in the summer. When I get good and settled and moved and stuff like that, I plan on saving some money to, to go because I, I need a vacation. Like I really do. I ain't went nowhere like a me trip in, in forever. Like it's been forever. Like I went nowhere, but here in the state of Kansas 
and to, you know, my home state. But, oh my gosh, yeah. I'm ready to go. The last place I went is, let's see, where did I go? Did I go anywhere? I don't, Chicago. Since I lived here, I've been able to go to Chicago, and that's only because I was dating somewhere, someone there at the time, and we, I went to visit him a few times in Chicago before we stopped talking, but, uh, let's see, yeah, I've been through, like, I've been to St. Louis, um, through Iowa and all that, we went to Chicago the last time me and an ex-friend of mine drove. But, uh, yeah, <sighs> I'm just ready to go and do some traveling. I mean, it, I'm, I need to live life while I got life is so short and it's so precious. I just need to start living. That's why I'm on trying to get my hustle on on YouTube and trying to get this channel to grow in. So, yeah, I'm just, oh, my God, I really got to clean off my counter thing. But, uh, yeah, I'm just ready to get out there and start traveling and taking my kids some places. And yeah, I'm so ready to move, you guys. But, uh, yeah. Well, sorry, I done talked and talked and talked. But, uh, yeah, and when I do go to Houston, I want to, um, see, I watch him all the time, um, Excuse me. I'd like to meet up with Rodney DeVoice. He is so funny. He be having me cracking up. He's something else. I like him a lot. I like his channel. And I watch him too. I watch a lot of people, guys. I watch him for like news and tea. Impressive channel. For the love of juice. Oh my God, I love her southern accent. She's from South Carolina. I like, I love her accent. Well, y'all know I mind my business. And I'm going to do just that. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> but uh, there's so many of them that I watch. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me get on off of here. Um, go ahead, you guys. Hit the like, like, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I drop a video. I'll see you beautiful people on the next one. Bye.